<clears throat> Hi, my TI family. Um, this is Robert Stanson with TISP Research and Development. Um, that's uh, TISP means uh, Target Individual Shielding Products <clears throat> for your information. Um, I, I've been, uh, uh, right now I'm wearing the uh, um, a Moo Metal Day Cap Insert. And uh, this is the third week wearing it. And uh, um, it's 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 freaking beautiful. Um, and and also about three weeks with the uh, uh, IR uh, laser glasses <clears throat> that um, have been really uh, uh, working for me beautifully. Um, lately, since I've been getting closer to them, as far as uh, learning more about them and getting uh, learning more things that uh, <clears throat> I guarantee that. Uh, nobody else knows um, You know they, they they've been um, and plus able to build um, things to uh, <clears throat> Fight them excuse me <clears throat> uh, You know, I mean we got to understand that uh, You know this has been going on for over 30 years um, and uh uh, people with legal whatever and doing whatever courts or whatever, you know, is um, thirty years. I mean, is it is it really getting anywhere? Um, you know, sometimes you know, uh, uh, you know, man's law, uh, um, human, uh, since the dawn of time is is that I mean, create our own justice, um. Not to say anything to create any, you know, do anybody harm or anything, but, you know, to, uh, um, eradicate things, I, I may say. Um, anyways, okay, uh, these are IR glasses, you gotta get them, you have to wear them, 24-7, I, I mean, uh, no questions, don't ask, just get them, wear them. Um, wear them all day, even night for bedtime and everything. I mean, you have to get used to them at night, but, um, you know, you just tell people you're just sensitive to, uh, <clears throat> a lot of the lights and the energy coming off the lights and stuff like that. Big deal. You know, you're prescribed or something like that. You know, just, you know, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm just hypersensitive. Um, I mean, that's how I get away with, you know, things with the helmet. No, I, if I don't feel like explain it, I just tell them I'm hyper uh, sensitive, you know. Um, uh, let me see. Um, yeah, you know, I could take like a little bit without the glasses. But, I mean, since since they lit me up <clears throat> years ago, I think it was about three, three and a half, maybe three years ago. Um, it hit me so hard with the beam. And then, uh, I mean, I can feel the brain cells pop in my head and, uh, um, one at a time and I can get that weird taste in my mouth and I knew it was brain cells. And after that, I was like, so, um, in tune cause they rang my bell <clears throat> big time. I mean, just things were just like talking to me freaking, I mean, just, um, everything was reflecting um it was wild i mean connected to things like it was just insane yeah i am still connected it's just um now i'm able to see things that e even most ti's can't even see i mean i can see the scatter <clears throat> i can see the direction of their beams um i can see um you know when they move them i can see what weapons they use uh i mean different colors and everything um I, I, I can actually make out, and I have drawn some uh, uh, pictures. I don't know if I have it here, but I don't think so. Here's all my notes for uh, organizing myself. Um, and, uh, um, uh, uh, and, and I can make out their drones. I mean, literally, even with my eyes closed, um, you know, I, I can actually, I, I can see where they're at. And a picture of him and move my head and there's another one or or he would take off and he'll cloak you know somewhere else and like oh shit you know he'll cloak and i even see one with these glasses on you know and you may look at the sky 
and and without them and uh and go oh it's, you know it's pretty in blue right put them on no it's dirty dark and just thick of chemtrail disgusting nano particulates metals and dust and uh what that tells me is literally i already know and see it create a little invisibility and uh um cloak everything behind it i mean not cloak but make everything invisible <clears throat> i mean i've seen them cloak where they act like they're moving somewhere else but they're still there it's pretty wild but uh um yeah um uh, there's, there's things that go bump in the night up there. I tell you what, I seen an orb, you know, shoot across and then a sucker did a little spin and then notice I saw him and I was like, whoa, he could see me. Like, yep, I could see you. And he sat there between two palm trees for a little bit and I was like, all right. And, uh, you really can't make him out with the naked eye. I mean, you might be able to catch the, uh, a little round orb. It's a little, it's, uh, it's like a light lighter color than the sky and it will move um uh they're not orbs those are <clears throat> those are freaking fully weaponized drones pretty badass machines um they got like uh four propellers <clears throat> they have um the legs come down this way <clears throat> and they have like different weapons right underneath and they're small too i mean i mean, I mean i'm sure those things are big because i seen one come down one time as i was uh, uh, flipping a, um, a UE on the highway 101 going to Frisco and uh, um, and that sucker came down to see what I dropped and uh, um, it was all blacked out freaking thing was huge it was about the size of a little smaller than a, than a twin bed you know pretty big <clears throat> and uh, well anyways okay um, yeah they there's a lot up there that sit up there a lot um, I guarantee it's Every man, woman, and child, there's one up there, maybe. <clears throat> Who knows? Or maybe there's some assigned, but... <clears throat> I mean, I I can, I can make out a little bit of them, you know, but I just got me a spotting scope, so I'm going to probably, um, you know, study them a little bit more at night. Um, during the day, possibly, you know, but it's hard because it's... Uh, once daylight comes, and, and Harp's got that everything ionized and... And, and, and that, that zero point energy just flying over, you know, and, and, uh, uh, and, and plus the sun and the radiation, it just freaking literally just, uh, poof, it just turns into a empty sky where you can't see anything. So all those little stars that you see up there, fake too. Um, but those ain't the only ones that are drones because I've hit those with a laser and I've seen them move around. But, uh, um, but beyond that, you know, where you really can't see yeah those are big ass drones um and those ones are the, are like the uh handlers the freaking uh, um uh the lead ones the, the ones that are weaponized you know i mean even the stars are weaponized too as well but mostly they, they they'll blind you and uh um disorient you a little bit you know so that way you're not looking at them or you just decide to look away uh, for people that don't know what they are um i've hit them with lasers hardcore and then I, I've always had a feeling that I've seen an orb move around, but what they do is they, 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 they got that freaking, that third eye, like, stained in your, in your eyesight, and, uh, and you're kind of like, um, thinking, uh, that it's that, um, <clears throat> but if you pay attention carefully, uh, you'll see the, the move a little more than what you've got in your, in your head, yeah, that, 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 that two-way uh, uh, communication connection <clears throat> that you got with your handler, <clears throat> you know, via that drone up there, you know, I mean, literally, you guys are straight up connected, I don't know about <clears throat> the actual human being, um, I literally think that they're robots with a uh, human interface, other than that, <clears throat> there's just, there's really, you know, no possible way that would be a human, you know, I mean, they act, smell, you know, whatever, I, whatever they do, uh, like human, but uh, you, there is some glitches, and, uh, um, and, and I, I've caught them several times, so it's just, 
<clears throat> that's what I think it is, really, literally, <clears throat> um, in my professional opinion. Um, okay, the, uh, get the air, IR glasses and the Moon Metal Day Cap is beautiful. Um, it is right here. It's right the hat. I got it rubberized in here with some seal. And uh, um, I mixed some... Uh, uh, um, or, uh, um, oh, jeez. Uh, um, uh, let me think. 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 Oh, jeez. That, that stone. Uh, or... Oh, fucking damn it. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, anyways, that Russian stone... Uh, that, that blocks a lot of um, EMF and stuff like that. Um, I just can't think of it right now. I got a lot of things in my mind. Um, anyways, but here it is. I'm sorry. Here, let me just. But I rubberize it so it's nice and cushioned. And what I do is I, I shape it and I, I uh, you know I do a little blacksmithing on it and a lot of soldering, tin snot, soldering on the moo metal, and I round it off to the shape of your head uh, in, into a ball cap, and then it won't fall out, and no one can tell, and no one can see, and you don't look like a weirdo. You know, with the tinfoil cap. And it's solid, so you can hit your head and, and it won't really hurt your head. Um, uh, but, I mean, as far as uh, um, uh, guaranteeing it, I guarantee that, uh, um, you know, satisfaction. But in complement of the um, either either Magneto Gold Grounded or Medusa's Wrath uh, um, helm, shielding helmets that I build. Um what I do is uh, when I work, when I wake up in the morning, and uh, you know, since I'm getting closer and 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 I'm really, uh, you know, I'm I'm doing whatever the hell I want. You know, I live free, and and no one tells me nothing. I don't, I don't have to worry about any repercussions or or them attacking me or 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 freaking messing with my mind because literally I don't have any more um, manipulation. I don't have any induced thoughts. I don't have any more, uh, all the other bullshit, you know, took about three years and now it's what, five months, two years, five months. And with the addition of the, uh, moon metal day cap, um, oh my gosh, uh, I have, usually I would have like an induced or, or, or my head just goes somewhere else into their train of thought, leading me somewhere else or making me lose my thought. And, uh, uh um, and that would happen like maybe once or twice a week. Now it doesn't even happen at all. Not at all. Um, what I do is I wake up in the morning. You know, as soon as I wake up, I take out, you know, I make myself get up. I pull my helmet off, put it on the side of the bed. And I immediately reach for my cap, put it on. My glasses are already on. And uh, um, and, and, and they, can't, they, they can't touch me. They can't do anything. They can't do diddly squat um, <clears throat> before. Uh, I would get up, and uh, mornings were horrible. Um, every, you know, everything else is fine. I mean, I'm not saying it's super horrible, but uh, uh, when when you start gaining your freedom and uh, uh, literally just doing whatever you want and, and just take handling your business and doing things that they normally won't let you do, otherwise they'll torture you, whatever. Um, you know, uh, uh, before I would wake up, pull off the helmet, and uh, I'll, I'll try to, you know, rear myself up, you know, and get a little motivated and wake up, you know, and I'm all stiff and, uh, you know, and, uh, um, and sometimes I'd feel jittery, but for the past, uh, uh, before the moon metal cap, uh, it was like a, almost a month, you know, I'd wake up and I had things to do, and, uh, uh, pfft. Ooh. For me, getting there on time, it was really hard because uh, the first two, three hours, maybe more, till the afternoon, I mean, literally, I would just sit there going, uh, uh, you know, and just trying to shake out of their, their brain train. It's like, fuck. And I'll take a break, put the helmet on, and I'm like, fuck, all right. All right, and then get up, and then and then again, they'll be like, fuck. And I have to go to the bathroom, and, and sometimes I'll throw up or whatever, and I'm just like, uh, uh, you know, and they're like, uh, and just really trying to concentrate, pull myself out of it, you know, and, and it would take about three, four hours sometimes, you know, and, you know, it was rough, I would actually have a couple drinks or whatever, just to, 
you know, kill that. Sometimes a, uh, a buzz will really just snap you out of it. Uh, um, you know, give you that, 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 you know, that ump. And, uh, um, and, and it, was, it was, it was a pain in the ass. Got tired of doing it. Um, but as soon as I started waking up, because before, I mean, I, I, I really wasn't wearing the cap that much. I was like, all right, you know, I mean, you know, I wore it a couple times at the, at the rally, you know, but, uh, um, <clears throat> You know they're you know uh, they're they're hitting me pretty hard there too, and uh, um, but uh, when I when I freaking uh, glazed it with the with the rubber eyes and and uh, uh, um, shungite yeah and and I put the shungite inside the uh, rubber you know the the rubber sealant <clears throat> flex seal <clears throat> and uh, um, you know it's nice and padded it's comfy and uh, um, so. Uh, uh, but I started wearing it in the morning and then, uh, I didn't, I didn't get any more, um, sorry about the light. I, I really didn't get any more, um, freaking, uh, uh, you know, my, mind, my, you know, mind comp shit, you know, I really didn't. <clears throat> and then, uh, um, <clears throat> and then, uh, uh whatever, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, and and really for the uh, you know past three weeks, um, nothing, nothing, you know, um, you know, I, I was waiting for you know maybe a morning, maybe I'm having a good morning, maybe it's just you know, you know, just laying off me for a second. I, I don't know. No, uh, uh, no, uh, 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 no. He was trying. No, he was trying. Uh, um, because I mean, a couple times I felt the energy and it just. You know, and, and nothing affected me. You know, was, and look at it. I mean, it's not around the ears, nothing. You know, I'll still get to the in my, in my ear, but I mean, not as much. Uh, um, but as far as hitting your brain uh, with the frequency or, or whatnot, and and really, uh, uh, and plus the eyes as well. You cut them off off of those two things, you freaking got them. You you get your life back, literally. I'm, I'm telling you, no bullshit, no nothing. You know, uh, um, <laughs> I got my life back. Literally, I got my life back. You know, Boy Scouts honor. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. It's awesome. It's beautiful. There ain't nothing like it. You know, I mean, you know, get yourself a pair of IR glasses. I believe I got them at a, um, oh, geez. Um, I'll put the link in the, uh, um, in the bottom. Uh, um, and there's two places. But I found one that's pretty cheap. It's about fifty nine dollars, and and plus they're they're CE certified and uh, um, really nice ones. Uh, I ordered a pair of those. These ones right here from uh, um, Civil Lasers. Um, you know, um, I bought a laser from those folks, and uh, um, they never refunded my money. One hundred fifty bucks, free down the drain. You know, and uh, um, and they're they're not really that they're not really certified, but they're good glasses. Uh, you know, but they're more expensive. I think these were like eighty or yeah eighty nine dollars yeah, but the other ones uh, um, jeez uh, uh, I'll put a link anyways, um, the Moon Metal Day Cap, it's amazing um, you know uh, um, it, it's real it's thick Moon Metal, I rubberize it I I have to solder all the seams all the way around and and shape it uh, um. You know, uh, um, uh, I, I can't mold it, but, uh, um, I mean, I, I have to, uh, uh, blacksmith them and, uh, <clears throat> they come out really nice. Um, and, and they're, they're amazing. Uh, it's unfortunate because I, I mean, I, I got a great set of hair. I still have all my hair and, you know, and, and freaking, I got awesome freaking eyebrows, but you know, I mean, <laughs> You know, uh, um, being shielded is, uh, much more worse than freaking looking beautiful. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, literally, uh, folks, please, uh, listen to me. You know, uh, th this is, this is my life. Um, you know, like, like I said, you know, it's my, my business, my company. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I take, I take it very serious. I take, uh, my life. I take the community very serious and, and I take my company and, and what I do and what I research and what I learn extremely serious and I work tirelessly you know to, to earn and learn 
what I need to know. And, and I mean, the way I do things is like a, uh, um, you know, Chicago and investigator, you know, it's just meat and potatoes, you know, I don't go on the web and research. I mean, come on, you know, half that crap is, uh, disinformation. I, I swear to it more than half. And, uh, um, whatever else people are trying to feed you is freaking <laughs> false. You know, don't use tinfoil either. Lame. It's horrible. Uh, um, that stuff just, you ever uh, put butter on it? Spreads even. That spreads even on your brain too. And if you, uh, um, and we used to use those as antennas, TVs, radios, whatever, and using lead as well. You know, um, I, I do have lead caps. Uh, um, it's lead uh, um, uh, uh, magneto caps. They're for like travel. Yeah, they're all right. You know, I tested it and I really, it's just the cost and uh, um, it doesn't really add up to um, the benefits, to tell you the truth. And, uh, um, but they're all right. You know, I, I wear one for travel and stuff and I'll put it on if I have to, but not no more. You know, I got this, but you got to have the helmet. Literally got to have it. Um, you know, note, note to self. Okay. You don't have to wear the darn helmet all day, every day and stuff like that. No, 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 no. That's a misconception. Okay. Uh, first off, you know, doctor's orders. Okay. But you got to follow, you got to follow it to the T, you know, um, you know, you got to take about three months off or whatever you got to do. Three months, 24-7. Wear the helmet, 24-7. And then uh, after that, uh, three months, you just wear it in the house. Anytime you're in the house, wear it for three months. After about six months to a year, whenever you feel comfortable, <clears throat> then you'll just have to wear it just uh, for, for bed after that, okay? And just for bed. So, so I mean, if you have one of these for the day... You're good to go through the day. You're, I mean, my head doesn't hurt. None of that. I get nothing. No malfunctions. Nothing. No crap. No no torture. No hits. No freaking, uh, no manipulation. They, they don't boss me around. Nothing. I mean, they, they yell and, and cry a lot, but it's broken up. You know? They get a lot of crying. They, they ain't used to people um, being able to uh, um, flip it on them. You know? And, and not have to... Uh, you know, they, otherwise, most TIs, I mean, they're, they, they're going to get repercussions. They're going to get hit. They're going to get tortured. They're going to have bad days or this and that here and there. Before, when in the beginning, I was lucky to get one thing done. You know? I, you know, in the very, very beginning, I mean, not the very, very beginning, but after they really jacked me up, I mean, I mean, I was, at, you know, at the at the foot, the foot of my mom's bed on the floor. <laughs> Like not getting up, not get doing nothing. Didn't want, wanted to die. All my possessions. I don't care. I don't care no more. You know, it's over. Game over. Not no more. Game on. Um, uh, what I'm telling you, just you know, um, whatever I put out there, you know, is real. Whatever I put out there is solid. Whatever I put out there is useful, and you just do it. All right. I mean, I'm not going to bullshit you. I mean, that's not me at all. All right? I'm like 44 years old and served in the Marine Corps. I was a reconnaissance Marine and been an iron worker for 16 years. And, uh, you know, I just, and, uh, you know, other things. And it just, uh, um, you know, deception and, and anything else is just not me at all. Fuck that shit, you know. You know, I, I just don't like it, uh, you know. Um, but, uh, um, but I'm telling you, everything else just horrible. Oh, and lead, um, <clears throat> no bueno. Uh, using lead, uh, I know someone was talking about it, some guy named Anthony Thomas, but, you know, he was mentioning that, oh, lead's a good thing to use, and he was mentioning big words, whatever. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, lead, I mean, yeah, it has useful properties, okay, but you gotta understand one thing. You know, it's just like a bullet, you know, uh, when an impact, you know, it compresses and, but you got to think it's, uh, uh, lead is, a uh, um, you know, it, it is a, uh, dang, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's a, uh, uh, son of a bitch. Okay. I'm back. Um, sorry. Please excuse me uh, for the video editing. I'm kind of new at that stuff. So. Um, well, I, I think what I was trying to get at is, is, uh, um, you know, someone mentioned using lead, um, you know, uh, 
I mean, lights are right you know, as long as you use magnets with it um, in reverse polarity. And, uh, um, which is my word, uh, you know. So, uh, don't worry, it should be entered in um, the Wikipedia here shortly. Um, okay, uh, um, I really suggest Moo Metal because um, uh, you can't stop or you can't slow down any of all that you can't you can't stop energy uh you can't dissipate any of that <clears throat> but you can uh, um redirect it okay um so so to answer some questions on some lead <clears throat> i uh, really don't suggest lead uh number one it's expensive hard to get a hold of and uh heavy um cumbersome and there ain't really much you can really do with it. And it really doesn't do much um, without magnets. No. Um, and and I heard someone say, um, Anthony Thomas, you know, uh, he's not an expert. Really, I wouldn't take his advice on any type of shielding whatsoever. Um, uh, for me, um, you know, I, I'm the leading expert. And it's just there's no... If ands or buts, no question about it. I test everything uh, myself. Uh, anything I, I uh, want to try or anything, I, I, I literally test it. <clears throat> I mean, I've got material that failed, and I won't put it out. No. Uh, I'll tell you another thing. I won't. Um, I got bad reviews for me. But first, with lead, uh, um, see, see the problem with lead is, is that. Uh, it, it's dense and uh, um, you know it it, it, uh, um, it, it absorb the energy um, because it's dense it'll store in there it'll stay in there stick to it a little while longer and one thing you gotta remember this energy that they uh, uh, shoot to our brains um, even especially when wearing uh, um, uh, magneto gold if it's unplugged uh, uh, thank god it's grounded what I learned is that you know, as soon as you unplug it, it starts to fill up in here. And, uh, um, it don't go anywhere. It really don't. Until you plug it in to the ground, it flushes out. It's pretty, it's pretty a weird feeling. Um, same thing with aluminum. It was spread around the brain. And, uh, evenly. Um, and our brain's like a sponge. And it just soak it right up. Um, lead. Uh, same thing. I mean, really, what are you going to do with it? I mean, it's, you know, unless you're shaping it, forming it, or whatever. Uh, not, not, not really too efficient. Um, like I said, it will absorb it. It will stay in there even longer uh, wherever you have it. No good. Um, unless you have magnets, then, then yeah, it will pull it out. Um, also, um, I have a thing with mylar. Um, <clears throat> here's the thing with mylar, especially with C3 uh, 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 anti-infrared uh, um, detection uh, shielding. Um, you may be able to, um, block a little bit, but you see, the thing is, is that I, I bought a whole roll of it. I'm going to implement it in my helmet and Medu uh, Medusa's Wrath, but, um, only one layer and the backside, I'm going to black it out, uh, with, with some, uh, um, uh, T98, uh, uh Alpha and, and plus some, uh, rubberized behind it just to black it out the problem with it is that um i layered it up one time and, and this guy hit me um uh for some reason uh what what happens is is that i i've layered about seven times uh it increases the energy uh it's pretty much like a magnifying glass you know um that energy just hits, bounces back, and hits, and it just increases the energy, and and he can really get through. They can really get through, <clears throat> and uh, um, it was fine for the first layer, not bad, you know. But the thing is, is that it has uh, the mirror side on the other side as well, facing towards you. And the crazy thing about um, you know mirrors or, or especially white, uh, white is also um, a, a a a good. Uh, um, uh, you know, energy, it will actually, uh, deflect off white, you know, kind of weird, but black is really good though. 
what are we gonna do pitch house black you know it is what it is uh, but uh, um, I'll paint the back of it black and then and then you could shield like your, your room or whatever you know but I mean I don't guarantee that's super strong but I'm using it for a little bit of reflective because uh, <coughs> I've, I've gotten a battle with these guys one time <clears throat> and they're hitting me with some uh, very uh, uh, high powered uh, um, disorienting uh, uh, just really just wipes you out energy and I took a mirror and I, I was reflecting it back and uh, uh, at the time I thought you know well who knows maybe they maybe they were maybe they weren't the neighbors were involved across the street and uh, um, excuse me and I, I took the mirror and sent it over to the neighbor's house I was like yeah boo and uh, um, next you know I saw the blinds moving up and down like someone's getting jacked up back there I was like all right uh, that 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 day I wind up uh, <clears throat> Calling a doctor to get me emergency evac'd out of there. Um, uh, uh, it was better than 5150 though, because I wasn't staying. I just wanted out of there because uh, it started getting heavy. I, I couldn't sit there all day uh, uh, re deflecting freaking uh, energy away from my brain. I mean, it was a battle. I mean, it was all after, all morning and afternoon, just reflecting it and trying to not get hit and disoriented and jacked up. But uh, um. Uh, so I, I called in uh, my uh, personal civilian life emergency evac. <laughs> it worked. It got me out of there and, and um, you know, safe. Um, uh, uh, I, I did that twice one time. And, and one time, it kept me up for like six days. And, and with, the, uh, um, with the energy on top of uh, uh, um, adrenaline, I can't believe you know, the human body is amazing as far as being uh, um, the adrenaline. It's just it's wild. And six days though, but still I was like, next time I'm driving a motorcycle in snow, I was like frozen, thawed out in the shower at a hotel. I rented, and I needed sleep, so I I called in and had um, them pick me up, take me to the hospital so I can get some sleep. I just told them, oh, I'm off my meds, and da -da 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 -da, you know. And, you know, next morning they let me go, and then I'm good to go, you know, and got my rest, um, but these days, I, I get it now, I get it when I want, however I want, whenever I want, do whatever I want, when I want, however I want, say what I want, freaking whatever I want, uh, you know, uh, just as long as I'm not, you know, just, you know, keeping it, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not, you know, I'm just doing, being a, a good citizen, um, anyways, <clears throat> but what I'm saying is, uh, the thing is, is that, that energy will bounce off, uh, um, you know, the, um, the mylar, and, uh, I mean, it may take a lot of the, uh, you know, if you have readings or whatever, uh, on, on a, on an EMF reader, whatever the heck, and, uh, um, yeah, but, you know, it's just, uh, with this directed energy, um, you know, the only thing that's gonna tell you if something works is the human body, straight up, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, you can have all the technical data and readouts and all that stuff, all you want, you know, and spend all that money, but the one number one thing that's going to tell you if something works or not is you, you know, it is literally your body, you know, I'm telling you, everything I put out works, and, uh, um, I'm, I'm free as free can be, <clears throat> and, uh, and they can't do anything about it. And now I can work to uh, do other things. I can concentrate on anything I want, anything, and not have any any distractions and not get messed up, <clears throat> nothing. Handle my business and, uh, and handle them, you know, shortly. Um, but I uh, I didn't really like the um, the C three. Um, one layer would be good enough. Put on a helmet for just for the deflection black out the inside um but that that's pretty much all that i have now <clears throat> right now i'm working on a couple clients helmets and stuff and uh um pretty busy um but i'm telling you um you know 250 bucks you know and and then you have yourself a you know a freaking shielding for all day you know and uh um literally not get messed with 
Um, I mean, I, I really highly suggest you, you know, get a helmet. Um, if, uh, if you want to try to build it yourself, <clears throat> you know, I'm happy to give you instructions. Of course, they will, uh, um, you know, uh, um, you know, just a donation to the, um, to the cause, uh, um, you know, uh, TISP, uh, uh, research and development. Uh, um, I'm building a website. <clears throat> um, uh, you can look up, you know, TI, uh, uh TI support, TI dash support. And, uh, but I, I just need to build it and uh, get it going. Um, I just haven't had time. I'm just loaded with, uh, so many things. I mean, not only, uh, uh working helmets and, and shielding is that, uh, you know, I'm also testing <clears throat> plus my personal life. And, and uh, um, you know, taking care of things and as well as technology as, uh, um, as I'm really getting into this technology and it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. And, uh, um, you know, and, you know, it's going to be a different ball game. Okay. And, uh, um, you know, number two, it's just, you know, you, know, you got to even up the playing field. I mean, all this shit for over 30 years is just, it's just, nah, it's not working, you know, if that ain't working, don't, you know, don't beat a dead horse, you know, move on, try something new, do a sticker campaign, I don't know, just pull out some lasers, hit some drones, or whatever, jeez, I mean, come on, change that, shiz that up, don't, don't just sit there and continue doing the same thing, I mean, you know, I mean, you could tell all these people all you want, you know, I guarantee you, not unless, uh, less than freaking five, ten seconds, twenty seconds, they're they're immediately snapped out of it. You know, moving on to something else. You know, or or they they just really don't want to be somewhat involved. Really don't want to talk about it. You know, just, they, their own world. That's it. Their own world. Nothing, nothing too complicated. It, it just nah. I'm telling you, people. You know, um. Own, we have to build our own justice, and, and if we don't have people getting together, like maybe some vets and stuff like that, get a hold of me or whatever, or anybody that's willing to do whatever it takes, um, let me know, and uh, um, you know, I'll t we'll talk. Um, anyways, I just want to tell you guys, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I, got, I got you guys back, you know, and I, I hope you guys have mine, um, and uh, uh, you know. I want to. I want to get this done and handle this. You know, and it's just stuff needs to end. Period. There ain't no question about it. All right, and, uh, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. You know, work my ass off. I, you know, I mean, this is this is bigger. This is bigger than Snowden. This is, you know, this is an opportunity. You know, and uh, um, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, spend the rest of my life with someone's fucking finger in my back. It just ain't happening. You know, so, um, so love you guys, uh, I'll come out, um, with some more, uh, stuff for y'all, uh, freaking beautiful thing, you know, uh, molds in my head just beautifully, IR glasses, get them, don't waste time, you know, don't just go, uh, uh and get some mirrored glasses, no, no, you need IR glasses, because I see that energy sometimes, when I'm sleeping and it's hitting my shades, they're, they're trying to penetrate it and it, it ain't happening. I'm good. I'm real good. Peace. <laughs>